Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. And this isn't your run of the mill remote controlled toy. There's never a day goes by that I, that I don't say to my wife, wow, this totally amazes me. We'll tell you why this drone is flying in island skies. Technology keeps getting more impressive and more affordable. An island realtor is taking advantage of that these days and taking his business to new heights. Steve Bruce explains. It's a bird. It's a plane. Or er, what the heck is that? It is the DJI Phantom quadcopter. And then on bottom we've bolted a, a GoPro high definition camera and a Garmin GPS tracking device. Or, put more simply, this is Michael Posnick's latest tool for selling real estate. For weeks now, he's been traveling around to his properties, putting his helicopter to work, capturing aerial videos and pictures of the surroundings. There's our camera. Within minutes, he has them up on the web for potential buyers to see. The reason you want the perspective from the air is because especially with land or any property with a house with land that has trees and bush and scrub, you don't know what's behind those trees. That doesn't tell me what the property looks like. It doesn't tell me where the water tables are. It doesn't tell me what sort of growth there is. Posnick says this technology cost him around $1,500 total. Pretty cheap compared to the cost of taking up a helicopter to grab some aerial shots. Around $2,000 an hour minimum. The real estate agent says at one time this kind of technology was much pricier, reserved more for the military and intelligence agencies, but not anymore. You can do it at, you know, virtually no cost, not have to worry about the weather, wind, turbulence. It's just something that fit the, uh, the real estate market. It may fit other island businesses too. Kent England sets up wireless networks on PEI. He came to check out the quadcopter to see if he could use it for land surveys and to inspect his towers. Blows me away and this is just another piece of, of technology that's been put out there for the average person to be able to use. Posnick's only warning, be sure to get a GPS tracking device. His first copter didn't have one. Yes, I've lost one in Muskush. There is a reward if you find it. Steve Bruce, CBC News, St. Nicholas. Hi there, Michael. I love your videos. You demand, boy, you demand.